Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Weekly Report. I'm Joshua Miller. Let's get to this week's numbers. This week in job board searches and clicks. Last week, we saw a decrease in clicks across all segments while search remained relatively flat. However, trainee and inexperienced driver search activity was up by 30%, and that helped to offset some of the decreases among the other driver types. Truck driver searches were down 0.5% week over week, up 4% month over month, and down 10% year over year. Clicks on truck driver postings were down 10% week over week, up 8% month over month, and down 47% year over year. Now, while there are always many factors at play, these numbers indicate that interest among drivers is waning with more of a slowdown when it comes to the experienced drivers. This week in freight. Spot volumes have finally begun to stabilize after a few uncertain weeks following winter weather disruptions. While load posting volume dropped by double digits week over week, the load volume for all three major segments remained at some of their highest levels ever. Load volume in the truckstop.com system fell 9% after hitting three straight weeks of record high volumes. Dry van load volume decreased by 20% week over week, but remained at its second highest level ever. Likewise, refrigerated fell by 14% week over week, but it still notched its third strongest outing on record. And flatbed postings inched up by 0.5% week over week and set yet another weekly high. Truck postings remained largely unchanged week over week, as did all three trucking segments. Spot rates dropped by two cents per mile, making this the first time we've seen any decrease in seven weeks. Spot rates had risen 23 cents over the course of the previous five weeks alone, and rates are about 35% higher than this same time in 2020. With plenty of miles to go around and drivers not shopping around as much, you must be prepared to get competitive with pay and benefits while also increasing attention on keeping your current drivers. And now for our story of the week. The Department of Labor data shows jobs in the four higher trucking industry fell by 4,000 in the month of February. This marks the first month-to-month -month drop since last April's major losses. At that time, the industry saw 87,000 jobs lost. Overall, there are just over 49,000 fewer trucking jobs today than there was at this time last year. Now, since April, we have seen consistent recovery in the trucking employment with more than 47,000 jobs gained since last April. The latest dip in jobs seems to point to a potential slowdown in that recovery. The late February indicators, however, do point to the potential for renewed growth. Overall, the transportation and warehousing sector added 4,400 jobs in February with the gains driven by parcel delivery and last mile services, which added 9,000 jobs and transit and ground passengers transport which added 8,600 jobs. The economy at large added 379,000 jobs in February, and as the number of COVID cases drop and the number of those vaccinated increase, we can only hope we're inching towards some form of normalcy sooner than previously thought possible. So, big picture, what's this mean? We wish we had more good news for you, but it seems that more drivers have left the industry, making it even more competitive to get drivers into your fleet. Beware as the stimulus checks begin to hit, as this could take even more drivers out of the pool. And that's it for this week's report. Come on back next week as we take another look back to help you move forward. And until then, have a great week, everybody.